20 to wax y'all the brazilian booty strap strip wax you all the way out your seat type of wax Right now, I'm running late. I'm running behind actually. I'm not running too late. Well, it says I'm gonna be two minutes late to my wax appointment. Yes, I'm going to get a waxy on it, y'all. Okay, so I was going like, you know, lot of y'all be like, my first time getting a wax, but this is not my first time getting a wax. This is actually like my second, third time getting a wax. I just now started getting waxes in the month of June. No, I lied. I just started getting waxes in the month of May. It is now July, so I'm going on my third wax. I just wanted to take y'all with me today to get a waxy Anna. And you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. That saying that people say, once you get waxed, you never go back. Very much true. I have not put a razor on my pretty pee in a very long time. And I don't plan on doing it anytime soon because I just love getting a wax. It hurts. I will be honest, my pain tolerance is pretty fucking high. Like, come on now, pretty high. Skyrocket high, to be honest. I'm getting a wax and it, I mean, it hurts. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I mean, I feel like it's definitely like bearable. You know, if you're a piercing type of person, if you can get piercings, if you could do any of that other shit, you're gonna be good, to be honest. Right now, I'm vlogging and driving. I probably should not be doing this, but hey, I'm doing it and I'm surviving. But yeah, right now I'm heading to the European Wax Center. Um, and I'm going to go get wax, y'all. I get the butt strip, I get all of that. Like, I get a Brazilian because, you know, I be wearing swimsuits like a lot so with that being said there goes my alarm to get the fuck at the place but um please don't come over here are you fucking crazy but yeah um i'm gonna get a wax y'all the brazilian booty strap strip you know wax you all the way out your seat type of wax so i'm gonna take y'all with me and hopefully i'll be able to record because i'm gonna be honest with you that's probably one of the hardest things i've ever tried to do in my fucking life is record me getting wax that's why i didn't record me getting my first wax because it would have failed you know like it just was too much for me to handle like you know i was trying to prepare myself for the situation since it was my first time getting it but now i feel like i'm pretty much ready so with that being said i'm one minute away from my um from the wax center so i'll be there very soon and i'll be right back you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe like hit that bell if you really mess with me if you don't just maybe you'll mess with me next time but hey we're on the road to 100k i'm actually really tired of saying that so can we get this 100k can we Okay, y'all, so I'm back from my wax, and if I'm being honest, it's really, really fucking hard. I'm running out of gas. I'll make it home. But anyways, what I was saying is that it's really freaking hard to record and get a wax at the same time. That's like basically like you dying at the same time you're trying to record it. Like, not gonna happen, not gonna work. Like, who the fuck, where the fuck? But yeah, I literally recorded what I could um, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, these waxes is getting easier and easier, like, slight freaking work, like, I really am proud of myself for being able to conquer a wax, like, I really thought that I wasn't gonna be able to do something like that, but I did multiple times, so yeah, I'm extremely grateful for that. I hate when people can't drive, I really do. 
Scoot over, y'all. People can't drive, especially out here in Houston. Baby, can you scoot up? You got space. You got space. You got space. Yeah, and then people out here be acting like that. Like, I'm really in the road facing the wrong way. Well, I'm not facing the wrong way, but like, I'm like this way. And we supposed to be this way. But this woman acting like she can't bully this man, like her car won't. But, um, yeah. So, I really had a good time doing my wax. If you're thinking about getting a wax, get it. Because they, the gym said, get one. It ain't that bad, I promise to you. It really ain't. It's not that bad at all, to be honest. It, it's really a mental thing. But once you get it, ooh. That's crazy, because, like, it took for me to be 22 years old to get my first wax. Now, look at me, 23, getting waxed out. <laughs> Y'all, like this video. I'm out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Before I close this video, I definitely wanted to give y'all some tips. Because in the last video, I gave y'all tips as well. So, listen. I vlogged my very first wax. But, unfortunately, Derek had deleted it from out of the camera on accident. He did not do it on purpose. Or, he claimed. But, um. He deleted it on accident, so I had to refilm. But I gave y'all some tips in that video, and I want to give them to y'all now. Exfoliating is really, really important when you get a wax for the first time, second time, third time, whatever, how many times. Don't over exfoliate because it'll, you know, do too much. But exfoliating is really, really important because you want to make sure that you're keeping all that dead skin and all that shit clear. So your wax going to be a clean little rip because that's what it is. Rip, bitch. Ah! Is what I'd be like. I hope nobody see me. <laughs> this man just see me do that crazy shit. Oh my gosh. Huh. Oh, fuck. Now I gotta drive a whole different way. I'm just playing. But yeah. Um, exfoliate. You know, be calm. You know, breathe. Because to my first wax, I almost passed out because I was <laughs> holding my breath. Her back, but. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna wait on that one. Okay. I'm just getting it ready. <sighs> oh. Y'all kind of seen it in this video, but like, you know, I kind of like calmed down and did it correctly this time. Cause last time I almost knocked myself completely out. But y'all, I'm gonna finish filming when I get back home because this is really not safe to be recording in Houston's traffic because it's just not it's not it and i value my life very much and i care about some of these people's lives on the road even though they don't care about mine um so i'm gonna drive accordingly and you should too so i'm out of here y'all peace